Hello students, in the lesson the gifts of nature, I taught you about what are the gifts given by nature to us and how we human beings spoil those nature. Okay, so by spoiling the forest and the wild animals, then ocean and ocean animals, then river. So till that we saw in the previous video. In this video, let's start with paragraph 5. Trees are said to be green gold. They are so valuable to us that we cannot live without them. It is necessary to cut down trees in order to build our houses and for furniture. But we should also plant more and more trees to maintain ecological balance. This is seldom done. We should help by planting saplings in the parks and along roadsides. We should see to it that cattle do not destroy the young plants. So, here what it is said, trees are green gold. Okay, we all know the one of the valuable metal is gold. So, trees are compared to gold. Okay. So, they are so valuable and it is so useful for us. Why? Because we need wood for our houses and furniture. Our doors are made of wood. Our sofa, our windows, all these are made of wood only. Okay. So, it is very important to cut the tree also. If we cut tree only, we can get the furniture. But, we have to balance the ecology. Okay, how to do that? If you cut one tree, you have to plant one more sapling. Sapling means the young plant. Okay, so the small plant that is called sapling. So, we have to plant it. Okay, so we have to uh, grow more of trees. Then only we can use the trees for our house purposes. Okay. So, where and all we can plant in the parks and along the road sides. Okay, in the highway and all you would have seen, they would have planted trees along the road. Okay, but it is very important that you should uh, safeguard the plant from cattle also. Cattle means the cow, buffaloes and uh, sheep, goat, all these are the cattle. So, from them also we should protect this young plant because the young plant will be very short no so these cattle can uh, easily eat the leaves of those plants so we should protect those young plant also if you go out on a trek remember to be care very careful when you light the campfire the fire must be put out before you leave the camp to avoid accidental forest fires. So, trek. What is meaning of trek? People who used to go for the uh, mountains or uh, in the dense forest. Especially mountains where you have the uh, full of nature. That is, so that is the reason to go for trek. Okay. So, if you go there, people used to gather there and they used to light the campfire. Okay. Campfire means what? In the open place. Uh, if you put a fire and people used to su sit around it, that is called campfire. Okay, so it will be very fun for the people to uh, go for a trekking and uh, campfire. But you have to be very careful that before leaving the camp, you should put off the fire. Because if you leave as such, the, the fire can spread for the whole uh, forest, for the whole mountain okay you would have seen uh, in the news and all in the california forest fire for a month or in australia it, it it will be burning for months together okay it is a great uh, destruction of the forest okay sometimes it may happen naturally that wildfire sometimes it may happen naturally but we should not be the reason for it for that sake you should be very careful. You should put off the fire and then only you should leave that place. We all, we all admire flowers in a garden. 
a well kept lawn is a joy to behold in a city a nursery of flowers is such a lovely sight that it makes us feel we should plant one in our home okay so we all admire the flowers in the garden okay whenever we go for a park we used to uh, enjoy the flowers lawn lawn means you would have seen the grass will be well maintained that is called lawn okay the grass maintained is called lawn okay you can you can't say that the grass on the road side and all as lawn the in the park you can see the well maintained uh, grass that's a lawn so we used to enjoy it so after seeing that what we also feel we also want some flowering plants in our home is it not we also buy some uh, pot with a plant and we used to keep in our home okay when you go to the park for a picnic or a walk you must not pick flowers from the plants if you want some flowers ask the gardener he will tell you which flowers are ready for picking be careful not to step on the flower beds and remember not to take our pet animals to the park so if you go to the park we feel like uh, picking the flowers some used to do no so you should not think like that if you somehow you have a feel to take a flower you should ask the gardener because without their permission you should not touch the flowers or plant itself okay you should ask their permission and then only you should do and you should not step on the uh, flower beds that is the small uh, uh, area where they keep the flowers and uh, remember not to take your pets okay your pets will spoil the park okay so you should not take the pets unleashed okay unleashed means without tying them you should not take them in some parks they may allow but most of the parks they may they will not allow the pets you know that bees and butterflies help to carry the pollen of flowers from one place to another like most insects they have an important function in nature therefore do not catch butterflies or destroy the hives of bees okay so uh, it's very important to have butterflies and bees why because they are the one who carry the pollens from one flower to another okay you would have seen the uh, butterfly sitting in one flower taking the nectar and it goes to the another flower and taking nectar from one more flower so what happen because of that only the pollination happens okay so only if the pollination happens the flower will turn into a fruit okay so this is the importance of bees and butterflies they are the carrier from uh, one plant to another plant to carry the pollen okay so it's very important to maintain the butterflies also if you catch and if you uh, if you kill a butterfly that means one uh, pollination is stopped okay you should not do all these things nature's beauty is for all of us to admire and enjoy the moon the stars mountains and seas are a great source of beauty and inspiration to us we must help to appreciate this beauty and marvel at the wonderful handy work of god so nature's beauty is for all of us okay so we all can enjoy and admire the nature so moon stars mountains all these are source of beauty and inspiration for us okay we can't uh, spoil a moon or we can't spoil the stars but the nature which is around us it's spoiled by us so we should not do that we should every time preserve the nature okay so this is the wonderful work it's a work of god so that we should preserve we should not spoil 
God's work. So that's in this lesson. So here are the glossary. Dense, closely packed or crowded together, closely grown. So we learnt dense forest, no? That's a dense meaning here. Preserve, to keep something as it is in order to prevent it from being destroyed. Extinct, not existing. Prevent, to stop something from hap happening. Saplings, young plants. Campfire, it is a fire that you light out of doors when you are camping. Inspiration is a feeling of enthusiasm you get from someone or something which gives you new and creative ideas. Feeling of enthusiasm means feeling uh, very interested. Okay, enthusiasm meaning is interest. Handy work, work done skillfully. Expanse, a large open area of land sea or sky. Ecology, a branch of biology. It deals with the relation of plants and living creatures to each other and to their environment. Okay children, read the lesson. You read the lesson and learn the glossaries. With this, I will end this video. Thank you children.